Hey guys, how's it going? So we're continuing with our paper two, our question paper. This will be really helpful for you because it touches on um, algebra. Okay, so it touches on laws of indices as well as factorization. Uh, there's a little question which we will like uh, very much. It's on variation, of which you all know that variation is a very popular topic in um, in med simsec as well as Cambridge. Okay, so we we are ask you to actually watch to the end. There will be uh, a great deal of value that will communicate to you. The first question says, uh, you're asked to solve this equation here. So the equation says uh, 3 to the power k is equal to 81 to the power 2 multiplied by 3 to the power 5 divided by 3 to the power 11. So the first thing that you note here is that we're dealing with um, with the uh, indices where the base is 3. Okay, So uh, here 81 can also be manipulated to have a base 3. And this is how you do it. So you have uh, 3 to the power k equal to, so 81, 81, you can write 81 is 3 to the power to the power 4. But 3 to the power 4, it's only for 81, okay? We had another power, which is 2 here. So we put that in and multiply by 3 to the power 5 divided by 3 to the power 11, like this, okay? So here, uh, 3 to the power 4 to the power 2, if we have two indices uh two indices multiply uh multiplying here we simply multiply okay so it actually becomes three to the power four by two which is eight for our case multiply by three to the power five divided by three to the power eleven like this okay so here we get if we are multiplying the bases are the same you have to check this this is why we actually put this base here so that the bases could be the same this is why we changed 8 to 1 to represent 3 to the power something. So uh, the reason we changed uh, the this to the to this base is so that we can actually add the indices here. So this one becomes 3 to the power uh, 8 plus plus 5, which is equal to 13 divided by 3 to the power 11. Okay. So if the bases are the same, you only do this if the bases are the same. You are allowed to add the, the indices. Okay. So here, 3 to the power 13 divided by 3 to the power 11, it's equal to 3 to the power 13 minus 11. So when you're dividing, you actually have to subtract the, the powers, okay? And then when you're multiplying, you have to add the powers. And the guideline, the general guideline here is that the bases must be the same for you to do those operations. So here you actually get 3 to the power 13 minus 11, you get 2. 3 to the power 2 means 3 by 3, which is equal to is equal to 9 okay so here you would get 9 uh, we touched on uh, factorization already but uh, in case you you missed that that part you first have to analyze your question here uh, the first thing that's uh, that you real what you recognize or at least what you're supposed to recognize is that 2 is a factor if you don't want to factor out 2 you can still work it out but we encourage you to first check is there any factor before we um, actually apply our rules for for quadratic uh, expressions factorizing them so here 2 it's a factor 3 into 6 you get 3 so 3y squared here minus minus 5y then plus plus 2 okay we are dividing throughout by 2 so that we can factor this 2 out here so there is the reason we are doing this is that it becomes simplified now the process and if you still remember uh, if you haven't watched our questions on uh, quadratic expressions I'm going to put them uh, right here the link you can uh, move to that or at the end I also put uh, a card where you can just click that and then watch okay but essentially when you're factorizing quadratic expressions you want to know what's called the product the product would be the coefficient of uh, the squared variable here so the coefficient would be 3 and then uh, multiply by the by the last term here which would be 2 so you actually have 6 so the 6 you want to you want to be creative with the 6 you want two numbers such that when you multiply them, you get 6. And when you add them, you get this middle term here. This middle term is 5, okay? So what you start with is 6 by 1. Then you can divide this one by 2. You get 3. And then when you divide this one by 2, you're supposed to multiply this one by 2. Okay? Then you get 2. Uh, just take note here that I'm not changing really my, my project. It's still 6. It's still 6 here. But what I'm doing is I'm looking for two numbers that can help me to get to 5. So uh, 3 and 2, there's something that I, there are numbers that I can work with. How, how do I work with uh, 2 and 3 to get negative 5? 
we say negative 3, negative 2. So negative 3, negative 2, our answer checks the repeating sign which is negative and then we simply add uh, 2 and and, um, and 3 then we get, we get 5, okay. So this is what you'd get. So these are the numbers that, that you want to use here. So what you're going to do is you're going to just say 2 and then 3y squared. Here where it says minus 5y, you're supposed to put uh, these ones here. Uh, you're supposed to put minus 3y minus 2y plus plus 2 like this, okay? So what, what you uh, realize here is that, what you first realize here is that we didn't change anything. Negative 5y, it's simply negative 3y, negative 2y. So this is really good. Uh, the myth that we do, the operations, we don't really change anything. So here we are about to introduce two brackets. So what you do is you need a big bracket so that your your uh, your writing can uh, be really be easy to follow okay so here you need to find the, the common uh, factor here between the first two numbers so you now have four you want to pair them up such that you create two brackets that are identical so here the highest common factor it's actually 3y so 3y into into 3y squared you get y minus 3y into 3y you get 1 Okay, like this. So this is our first, our first bracket, and uh, for this one now we are, uh, we're going to factor out negative two. Okay, the reason we factor out negative two is such that we can create this bracket here. If we factor out two, then we are going to create negative y plus one, of which we don't want to do that. We want to match these two brackets here. And after you do that, now you say two, then you put your your two brackets here. So the first bracket, you have to put the coefficients here, 3y minus 2. So you put 3y here, minus 2. And then in the next bracket, you put the common bracket here. And uh, there is a, there's a uh, video where I actually explain why we do this, okay? You're essentially just uh, factoring out y minus, minus 1 here. Then you say y, y minus 1 into this, then you get 3y. Then you say into this, then you get negative 2. Okay, like this. So your answer would be 2, then 3y minus 2, then y minus 1, like this. Okay, so here we're done with this. Let's move to the next question. Next question says, are you asked to factorize this? Whenever you're asked to factorize four numbers that you don't have any common factor for, usually these numbers, they are such that the numbers can be paired up uh, such that you can create the brackets just like what we did uh, in the previous question on on quadratic expressions okay we ended up having four terms and these four terms we ended up pairing them up such that we could um, uh, get something from there so here what you realize with uh, ax plus b is that there's no common factor here but then you could rearrange so you could actually have ax plus plus bx here this one and then plus plus a plus b i didn't change the value of my expression it's still the same but what I did is that I, I put the, the terms that have something in common together okay so particularly these ones and just as a rule of thumb when you push when you're moving uh, these terms around each term takes the on the sign to its left that's what uh, the, 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 we didn't have any problem with this one but then sometimes you may be having negative there you're supposed to know that if it's negative bx here you want to shift it to some other part it has to carry its sign which is negative for this case so uh, for the first part here now we have that we have arranged we've arranged it just because we knew that x is a it's a common factor here so we actually get x uh, factored out then into ax you get a into bx you get you get b like this okay so in the next bracket we are supposed to create a plus or plus b as well so we are going to factor out if you want you can actually write one here it's still fine it will help you it will uh, solve some confusion that some students may have that if there's nothing here what do you do exactly with the bracket okay so we're going to factor out a plus plus b here then into into this first term you get x into this next term you get plus one okay so you've actually factorized this completely so you get a plus plus b x plus plus one like this okay so you're done so this is essentially uh, what you do when you're factorizing. Thank you.